Welcome back to Crack and Flip. Today we have Ether Revolt, a pre-release kit. Now we're gonna crack this thing open. Uh, this set doesn't really have that value yet that others have had this past year, but it's still very new and I feel like after the pre-release is done with and after opening weekend, you're gonna see quite a few of those mythics that they have jump up in price to where they should be. Once again, it's like a pretty fancy box. The same kind they had when Kaladesh came out. What do we get? You get the die. You also get one, four packs of the new Eat the Revolt. And you get two. Kaladesh, and also you get a foil rare, which pretty much makes or breaks the box. So, you know what? We're gonna look at this last to see what we get. And cool little dividers there. No plane like they did in Kaladesh, but yeah, those things sucked anyway. All right, we'll start with Kaladesh first. Everyone should be very familiar with this set already. Been around quite a long time. Alright, see if we get a good uncommon here. Nothing so far. Alright. Toolcraft Exemplar. Still a dollar rare. Second pack. Blossoming defense. Pretty good and common. Great to make a play set. And there we go. We got a mythic. Um, it's summonings, still not a, one of the best mythics, but still a mythic, and pretty cool to pull uh, during a pre-release kit, so, you know, not bad so far. I think it, that this uh, kit is looking pretty good to be playing with, too bad I didn't play with it. Alright, these are the brand new cards. From Revolt. Um, haven't really studied any of the comments. You know, beautiful artwork. Want to know if uh, Green's actually gonna make a comeback here at all? Oop! Oh, you went to the uncommons. My bad. Hidden Herbalist. Illusionist. And we got Life Crafter, Crafter's Beastuary. There you go. That's our first rare from the new set. Second pack of Revolt. You know, I'm just going to go straight to the uncommons. I think only one good uncommon right now. Just fatal push. A lot of renegades. Let's see if we got it. Call of Unity. For Unity. Those are rare. I don't I don't have the high value rares in my head yet. You know, comment let me know what you guys think of this set doesn't really have the the ump that Kaladesh had. Oh, here's that one piece of Crazy Cat Lady to get that infinite um, callback in our rare. 
I guess we'd be playing a white deck if this was a pre-release. Winding Constrictor, Crackdown Construct, there you go, Fatal Push, there's a four dollar uncommon, definitely not going to stay there for long, and our final rare. Now to that make or break moment, we'll see what we got here for our foil. Rare, will it be a mythic? No, but it is one of the pricey rares. Not sure what this would be as a pre-release, but yeah, it's definitely um I believe it's a three or four dollar rare. So in foil form. Not bad. Definitely got one of the the better rares in the set. So yep. A good rare. Got that good uncommon. And you got a mythic. The best you can hope for, pretty much, from a pre release kit, so. Not bad. Hopefully, you'll have one more of these things for you guys to open up uh, before uh, we start with the booster boxes and stuff. And um, hopefully, I can get you guys a booster box before they go on sale officially on Friday. That would be awesome if I could. This video should be out by, you know, tonight. So, after you guys get back from your tournaments. You, hopefully you guys can uh, look this up and check out what other people are opening. Alright, that's Richard for Crack and Flip. You guys have a good one.